BCIE 5.0, is NVIDIA hyping us up? Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Just like I was saying in the beginning intro, is NVIDIA trying to hype us up with PCIe 5.0? I've been digging around looking at some information and it seems like um, my subscribers are coming up with the same information that I'm coming up with and that is this really going to be true. Do we need a PCIe 5.0 X16 motherboard? Well, let's go look at some information, and then we can get it all together and just show you. All right, we made it to the action screen. Let's go ahead and start with some of the information. But first, let me get a big cursor, because I know you guys love the big cursor. If I don't put it out there, then you're going to say to yourself, Oh my God, Jay, you forgot the big cursor again. Well, I'm not forgetting this time. See, it's right here. Asus today announced that the NVIDIA GeForce 50 series graphics cards include all new ROG Astreal line that ushers a new generation performance. The ROG Astreal combines top tier frame, frame rates and sleek stellar design with both air cooled and liquid cooled variants ready to power a user's next PC. Powered by the Blackwell GeForce 50 series GPUs bringing game-changing capabilities to the creators and gamers. I did that backwards, by the way. Equipped with a massive level of AI horsepower, RTX 50 series enables new experiences, new level graphics, fidelity. Users can multiply performance with NVIDIA DLSS 4. Generate images, presented speeds, unleash creativity, and with the NVIDIA Studio. Plus, they can access NVIDIA, uh, NVIDIA NIM microservices, state-of-the-art AI model that lets enthusiasts and developers build AI assistant agents workflows with peak performance on NIM-ready systems. Ooh, wow. That's a lot of mouthful. But don't quote me on it. I'm going to tell you, I pulled up some charts. I'm going to take and bring you guys through with me some on some charts. Oh, sorry, I got an eyeball itch. But I'm going to take you along with me so that way you can see what I see. These are charts I pulled up. And like I said, until the launch and we get concrete evidence, this is as far as information, this is about what I got. So. Okay, as you can see, we pulled up the charts. We're on the action screen again. We got it right here. It's the GPU is a 5070. I'm just going to use this as an example. NVIDIA GB205-300 Blackwell 4 nanometers, 6144 CUDA cores. Base clock's at 2160. The boost clock's at 2510. Memory is at 12 gigabytes GDR7. Speed is 2800 megabits per second effective. Memory interface 192 bit. Memory bandwidth 672.2 gigabits per second. Power consumption 250 watts with a 1x16 pin power plug connector. The display outputs has got three display port 2.1 and one HDMI port 2.1. It says its maximum resolution is 4K. PCIe Express Gen 5 X16, that's what I've seen. It says the release date was January 7, 2025, and the launch price was $549. Moving on to my next slide. If you don't understand what PCIe lanes, the speeds are, we're going to go through it one by one. PCIe E lane 1.0 250 megabits megabytes megabits megabytes whatever and then total bandwidth at x16 4 gigabits gigabytes gigabits PCIe 2.0 500 megabytes and total bandwidth x16 8 gigabits gigabytes PCIe 3.0, 1 gigabit, gigabytes per second, 
or gigabits, gigabytes, and 16 gigabytes, gigabits. You notice how I'm mixing it up because I know one person out there is going to be trolling me on this. PCIe 4.0, it looks like 2 GBs on the bandwidth per lane. This is per lane, and this is total. So this gives me 32 GBs, but this PCIe 5.0, it says 4 GBs. This is wrong for some reason. This is what I pulled up, and I know this is only supposed to be probably 32, so... Who knows? This is what I pulled up. This is the information I got. Now, if I'm wrong, you can tell me in Discord or you can leave a comment on the video. But this is what I got. So, if this is true, or this is PCIe 5.0, and this is true, okay, I'm getting mixed information on it. So, but moving on. There's, there's going to be a reason. The motherboards you can purchase if you want to get 5.0. I'm sure there's more out there, but here's a list. You can take a look at that list. I'll leave it up there for a minute. I removed one because it was not PCIe 5.0 X16 on the PCIe slot for the graphics card. So I removed it. So, moving on. These are some of the motherboards you can find out there that have the support or the processors. Some of the processors that does support PCIe 5.0. I'm sure there's more. I'm sure somebody will have a video out there about it. But, let's move on. Let's move on. Okay. The whole purpose in the video is this. If... NVIDIA moved their graphic, the new 50 series graphics cards from 4.0 to 5.0. It's going to give more speed. It's going to give you more direction. I'm not saying it's going to give you a lot. I'm just saying it might give every little bit helps. So when it comes to it, you get that little bit and it helps. That's all that matters. I mean, each little piece you put together for your PC to get better performance it's better in your part so but I'm not gonna comment too much more on this I know if it's true and that's what I'm waiting to see and I know you take it with a grain of salt I am too but when it comes out we'll find out I just wanted to bring this information to you all because this seems to be something they're not talking about and if it becomes true then I'm sure the hype is gonna be there so, and that's all I got for you right now, but if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, don't forget to put your notification on so you know when I post the next video. Until the next time in the next video, you know what it is, and we'll see you on the next one.